All right, guys, here we go. I'm on my way down to Zach's. I've got my supplies in here. I've got the films, I've got some snacks. If everything goes according to plan, according to schedule, then we should finish by about, what, 9 a.m. tomorrow? Hopefully we will be able to do this because, I mean, we've tried to do overnight challenges before, so we've had practice. I mean, we haven't actually succeeded before, but we know how it's done, we know what to do. And uh, yeah, now I just need to get down to Zach's and I'll meet him there. Here we go. Oh, it did be that time. <laughs> Right, Mangs, here we are. We're finally doing this. You may wonder why I'm on the floor and just getting stuff out of my bag. And my head and mess again. So what do we have today? We have Doritos, popcorn. I know you like these, custard creams. What else? We have some whispers, some chocolate bars. And last but not least, we have some salsa dip for the Doritos. <laughs> I've come prepared. <laughs> right, let's get this set up. Right. Oh, okay. In it goes. So it begins. <laughs> Wait, wait, don't, don't. Here we fucking go. And one more thing, I hope we don't get strikes by Warner Brothers after doing this. Oh my god, my hair. This is how I do my hair. I shake it all out and then toss it back. That's, and then I just leave it like that. Got all the snacks laid out here. Just leave them with me. Just, just leave them with me. I'm supposed to be going on a diet and you bring, you bring me glass. <laughs> Alright, let's begin. No copyright law in the universe is going to stop me! And so it begins. So, exclusive interview, what are your thoughts on this? What do you expect? Um, I, I expect... Uh, Robbie Coltrane to say Buckbeak uh, like he's about to um, bust a hemorrhoid. I'm um, about to uh, uh, cream over Eddie Redmayne because, man, and uh, I, I can't wait to see Rango in, in, in the flesh with his uh, uh, opposite David Bowie eye. Okay. <laughs> what was his connection to um, Dumbledore and uh, like just like Hogwarts in general? Well, that'll be explained in the second film, but basically, he went to Hogwarts and Dumbledore just really liked him. Ooh, he no, him. no, no. There's a bit of a rampage going on. Who can stop the rampage? Robbie Williams. Oh, him. Oh, I can't zoom in on the front camera. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> It. Didn't wipe his memory, so that means he's going to be a recurring character. So Snack number one. It do be that time. Oh yes, oh yes indeed. Mm. That's some good shit. I and mean, if you're liking it so far, subscribe. <laughs> Sound like a bird. Ah! <laughs> now time for the weirdest shit you've ever seen this guy do. Oh, he, he got excited there. The scars. The scars. What? You want to know how I got Damn these scars? scars. Oh, look who it is. Credence is the, is the Obscurus. 
Oh shit! Turn, turn, turn. Rango. You don't tango with the Rango. <laughs> so one down, nine to go. <laughs> Let's get it. Oh. This is what she sees. It's Hogwarts. So we've gotten this far into the movie and... We've got whispers to survive. Yeah, no, this one is kind of deeming down the hype. It's an alright film, this is the first time I've watched it, but it's like nowhere near as good as the original. But as soon as we get to Philosopher, like it's... That is, that's gonna be good. That's oh, gonna yeah. be a good one. Potter Mellow. Yes. <laughs> if you don't know what he's talking about when he says Potter Mellow, um, <laughs> it's a song by uh, a guy on YouTube called Pogo. I'll put him in the description. And it's really good. Mm. But yeah, now it's time for the good <laughs> ones. Now it's time <laughs> for Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. It's going to be a good one. And if you say Sorcerer's Stone, you deserve to be sectioned. Why did you ride it on a motorbike? I did not know you rode it on a motorbike. That's amazing. Morning. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, oh, here we fucking go. This is our favourite quote from this, from this first film. Sunshine, daisies, butter, mellow. Yes! Yes. You know what I don't like about this movie? Hermione isn't old enough to be attractive yet. And I'm really overexposed right here. There we go. Wait. Another year. Another year. Ooh. Wait, 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 wait. Second place. Second place. Oh. oh. With 472 points. Oh. Wait. Second. Oh. Wow. <laughs> so what did you think? Um, I mean, all I've got to say is Big Cobb. Big Cobb. Big Pretty cob. majestic, not going to lie. Um, I didn't know if Big Cobb rode on in a motorbike at the start, but there we go. Chamber of Secrets. Yes. Chamber of Secrets. Coming soon. What is that? On to the second film. Hi, Harry. It's Ronald! Looks like you. Sounds like you too. A new defense against the dark arts teacher. Gilderoy Lockhart. I'm going to show you. It's giving you jelly on you, Harry. There's no bones left. Harry, it's giving you jelly on you. There's no bones left. I think it's here. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. <laughs> There we go. Oh, it's here. It's here. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, the inside jokes are through the roof. Again, oh. I'll, I'll put a lot more in the description. Movie number three. We're still at it. Still at it. And uh, the soundtrack of Angry Birds 2 is playing Eight o'clock, we've been at it for, well, we started at 10, so 10 hours we've been at this. Cat. I'm gonna guess now your favorite character is Hagrid. Oh, well, no, it's always been Hagrid. 
Always been an aggro. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, not you. This scene always used to scare me as a child. This is a serious scene, but it makes me laugh. He was their friend. And he betrayed them. He was their friend! <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> so, you know that time travel bit in Prison of Vasco? Oh, I don't stop, man. I've, I've, I've like, burned off all my fuel trying to like explain it. I've tried, I've tried to explain it to him and it's, you know, it's really confusing. Don't signal, signal me out, like, you know, I'm, like, no, no, people, no, like, I'm like, not, no, I'm not trying to call you stupid. It's just like, you know, we're both seeing it two different ways and okay. we're trying to explain it to each other. And... When... Harry, Hermione, yeah, Harry, Hermione, and um, Ron go to Hagrid's house, and Harry gets hit on the head with a rock. That was Hermione and Harry from the future, because, uh, no, they, the, yeah, from the future, because they're going back into the past to throw the rock at Harry, to distract him and everything, and break the pot in Hagrid's house and everything. And we see that, we, uh, we see the, the Harry, Hermione, and Ron, who got hit in the head with a rock, do, <laughs> to go and do that, later in the film and then Hermione and Harry use the time turner. time turner time turner time turner to do it to go back in time and then hit it on the head with the rock. Oh no no another thing right another thing when they go into the woods and it's Hermione, Harry, Ron, um Remus, um Snape and Sirius, Sirius, but um, it's uh, like they're in the woods, and then like you hear Hermione from the future going, oh, woo! and like it's um, uh, and it's uh, yeah, and then Remus in wolf form just like into the woods, and like, but the thing is, like in the very beginning, in the very, very beginning, and Bobby said yes to this, right. Bobby said yes to this in the very, very beginning before like the time turner shit happened. Not saying like before time turners existed because obviously Professor McGonagall gave Hermione in the first term, so like way before this shit happened. <sighs> so, um, see, I'm burning. I burnt all my steam, but off before you start recording and everything. I can't. I can't like do it now. But like they wouldn't have known to go in the past, and that's what I'm getting at. In the very beginning, Hermione and Harry wouldn't have gone in the past. They wouldn't have gone in the past to sort everything. So, Harry wouldn't have got hit in the head with a rock, and Hermione wouldn't have gone, woo, in the, in the future. <laughs> because, like, there wouldn't have been a Harry and Hermione from the past in the very beginning, because they figured out, oh, we need to go back in the past later, basically. It's not that they go back in time and then they create a new time. No, 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 They're no. going back to a previous point in the same timeline. But the thing is, in the, in the same timeline and everything, like, but yeah, the same timeline, I get it, they do the same thing, it ends the same way, I'm not saying they do anything different, if I've tried to explain it that way, I'm sorry, they don't do anything different, obviously, but... Th it, th how burnt off steam and everything. We both have very different... Before it's recorded and like, yeah... Yeah, we both have very different... Uh, viewpoints about the concept of time travel and I don't know we're just we're just glad that humanity hasn't actually gone and done oh no no it would have been yeah fucked up with space time yeah. on to Goblet of Fire ah, here we go Goblet of Fire That's this one fun. I would say this one is my favourite really? yeah I don't know I just really oh, like it oh man they're all got locks. If you can fix the bike, then you can fix, the you can fix an AC 130 bomber. <laughs> Join the Navy. I, I don't know. I do, I'll just say, like, you've got the wrong person. Like, just say, just say straight up. Just say straight up, you've got the wrong person. Don't, like, be like, oh, this will go. Just get, just get some girl up and everything. Just say you've got the wrong person. Because obviously that's the situation you're in. And he's, like, called out bluffs before. And not, even, even if I don't believe it, he's, at least he said it. Just don't go over like, or in this case, like fucking call them out. Right. Have it your way.
Ah. Mm. I'm not going to sleep, I'm just getting warm. Because it's getting cold. We've got a light on so you can actually see us now. Alright, we've pretty much finished this one. On to the next. Number five is just around the corner. Mm -hmm. Number seven of our marathon. Well, it's past two o'clock, and I'm starting to lose hope a little bit. Zach is dead. And we're only on one of the Phoenix. We're gonna do this. I am, anyway. And there you have it. It's daytime once again. And I'm heading my way back home. I'm sorry I didn't get any footage of the second half as we were too tired at that point and I pretty much just forgot. Yeah, that was, that was an experience and a half, I reckon. I'll probably never do something like this ever again. Just so you know. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe as well. Subscribe to me, subscribe to Zach, join my Discord. I'll see you in the next one. Ooga booga. <laughs>